We're back with professional tennis player Chanel Simmons. At 19 years old, she ended her junior career as number 14 in the world. Today, we chat about life balance and fitness. I've been watching you serve and you put tremendous force into it. Now, I'm curious, how many racket strings do you go through? I go through about probably two rackets a week. Why do you break so many strings? I hit with a lot of spin and that seems to wear out the, the strings quite a lot, but the serve does play a role. Um, especially if I'm hitting with a lot of slice, which I do. You get a lot of players which just hit the ball flat and they never break strings, but it's, it's the actual spin which causes them to weaken. And how many rackets do you own? I own about 12, so it's alright to break so many strings. But um, it is a bit frustrating sometimes because the racket starts to feel good and then all of a sudden it breaks. Take me through an average day here in South Africa when you're not competing. Well, I practice in the morning from 7 to 10. Usually after that I have a one-on-one -on -one lesson with my coach. Then I have lunch. After that I either go to gym or I go to my fitness trainer. And then after that I either serve by myself or I do some more of my own fitness. And then I hit again for about two hours in the afternoon. That's quite a serious routine. Now, does this routine change when you go overseas to compete? Well, during a tournament I have to be fresh because I'm busy playing matches and, and I have to be really ready for them so I don't train as much I only really warm up and then I play my match and I have a light session afterwards so it's a lot less intense that's why when I'm here then I try and get as fit as possible so that I can last. Chanel has taken her training to the next level by including road running and speed work in her training routine thus increasing her fitness leg strength and acceleration. So you've traveled quite a bit what is your ultimate destination to to play and also just to kick back and relax. I really enjoy playing Wimbledon. That was really nice playing on the grass and I enjoy London as I've been there a few times. So I'd say that England is my favorite place to go. You are a very busy girl. How do you manage to keep the balance between family, friends, social life and also your training? I've been traveling so much that I'm so used to not being around them and I seem to be independent enough to stay away for long periods of time. And then with my friends, there's quite a big group here. So whenever I come back home and I see my friends again and then see them over the weekend, so I definitely have my social life. Do you find at all that supplements help you keep the balance? The supplements that I'm taking now really help me recover from my training sessions and they keep me fresh and they also help me perform better. So they definitely make a difference. Hard work alone is not enough to produce the best results. Your body needs time to adapt to training stress. Rest and recovery are also important in the prevention of injuries. Now, I've spoken to quite a couple of pro athletes and they all agree that recovery is the one most important thing to ensure success. What is your take on that? I agree 100% with that. The, I mean, if you can recover in the shortest time, then you can excel in, in playing and improving certain areas. And also, you're always fresh. So if you take 30 minutes to recover, then it's way better than taking a whole day. And what are some of the supplements that, that you use to help you recover quickly? I use the USN Recover Max and I also use the Epic All-in-One which um, I use before the time as well it's just to help prevent soreness and cramping and improve muscle recovery. Well usually I'm stiff after my match or my, my training session and that helps remove all the lactic acid and helps my muscle um, recover and it puts electrolytes back into my body so that by the time I play tomorrow then I'm ready again. How important is it for you as a professional tennis player to recover quickly? Well, there's a new match every single day. So usually after my, my first match, then I'll have, I'll have a drink or something and then I'll be ready by the next day because I've got a whole day to recover. When you started using supplements, could you immediately feel a difference? There was definitely a difference. Um, after my matches, like I said, I'd take the recovery max and then I'd feel a lot better. I wouldn't be so tired and my muscles, my muscles wouldn't be so sore. So by the time I play my next match, then I'm ready. Now Chanel, do you have a sporting idol, someone that you look up to? I really look up to Nadal. I think because he's also left-handed, so I, I compare my game to his. But also he's very intense on the court and he's very positive and I, I have to work on that a bit more. <laughs> Tune in again tomorrow as Chanel gives us some unique insights into life on and off the court. In the meantime, join the USNSA page on Facebook for more sporting inspiration.